Well, welcome. Happy May Day. Welcome to our May monthly consciousness update. So what I'm calling this is really a time of expansive, often explosive growth and a call to your true power. So today is May Day. Yesterday, this is the energies of Beltane, the, the ancient Celtic festival of, of spring. So what's important about this time is the bonfires. This is the opportunity to really look at what you want to throw away, what you've been carrying consciously or unconsciously and dump it into the fire. Um, and that gives way to the expansive, explosive growth of springtime. So look inside, take some, take some notes, do some journaling about what you are intentionally ready to let go of and, and be really intentional, really conscious about this. Um, what doesn't serve you? What have you kept around you, belief systems perhaps about yourself or your family or your life conditions? that have kept you small. So it's really a time to dig deep and throw into the fire, burn off anything that you're not ready to carry into the bright future. You know, the, the ancient ones called this the, the fire as the third gate of heaven. And the Catholics called it purgatory, where in order to get to heaven, you first had to purge. You first had to release, well, they said your sins, but I'm saying your limitations. And once you release those limitations, there's just this movement. You are pushed into this new world. So it's like the moving van is here. You've been getting ready to move. You've been getting ready to throw away all your old stuff and you've thrown away a lot of it but you have this last pile of stuff that you don't know you can kind you can really get rid of but the moving van is here and now it's time to throw everything away for a new start so be very conscious about this purging and ask yourself what belief systems have held you back from your true power so then may 5th is a lunar eclipse Last month's solar eclipse, I did a special activation. And if you haven't found it, please, please do it. It was an activation awakening into dream time. Because what I'm seeing is it's like we've we've got to simplify it. We've got two trajectories. We've got the, the heavenly realm, the higher dimensions, the supernatural, and, and that's got this sort of wavelength. And then we've got us here on earth, this timeline, and we've got our wavelength. But as we get closer, our, our summits are reaching the higher dimensions. And we're having, I'll call them bleed throughs of higher dimensional support, opportunity, visions. Please be meditating to see what is there that you haven't seen before as we clear away the veils from over our eyes to really see interdimensionally. Well, lunar eclipses are always a time for seeing in the dark, digging deep. And this one really asks you to, to fundamentally go look at everything that you've held is sacred. Well, this is just the way world, the world is. This is just the way I am. We've gotten very lazy and hiding behind the excuses of, well, this is just the way it is. So in this diving deep and throwing away, really see what serves your future, what you don't want to hang on to, what belief systems you've attached not to just the world, but to yourself. You know, I never get this. I'm this way, I'm that way. You know, what excuses have you been hiding behind? How have you justified your stuckness? And why is this so important? Is because 
everything's going to open up in the mid month. But let me talk a little bit about what's happening for me. It's been a wild ride. And with these high energies of the higher dimensions connecting with our normal energies, we're given visions into the past. And I had an amazing journey where I saw some pretty sad sexual abuse in my childhood, but it felt like I saw it so I could totally clear it out of my body, the, every shred of victimization and stand in this power. I was going through the universe, banishing darkness. It was like truly this cosmic Indiana Jones, but I couldn't find it, that power until I had looked at the darkness. So this is a time to look at it from the point of view of power rather than the, the point of view of victimization. That's a big switch. So now, sorry, we have my the leaf blowers outside. So in the mid-month, the energies will be much more expansive. So, so the first week, look inside, be intentional, get rid of excuses, clear out, because the energies in the mid part of the month are so expansive and they're expansive for joy and abundance. So it's very important to be grounded in yourself because we ask for joy and abundance, but we're kind of dis disattached to our body and to earth. So a very good time to get back into doing soul body fusions on yourself, really, really important uh, so that you can ground the space of this new flow, this new power, this new magnetism. And this time, this month is, I'll call it a hard reset, not because it's hard, but because, you know, when your computer, nothing works and you, you have to, it won't shut down. You have to push that button and shut everything down. That's kind of where we are. Um, I have a friend and she said, you know, I keep saying this is a new chapter, but I realize it's really a new book. I really invite you to see this time as a new book. So make room in your life for the joy and abundance that you didn't think you deserved or you were too late to get. Be, be grounded in your body. Take care of yourself. Put yourself first. Self-care, anything that keeps your body grounded is going to be in the flow of this upwelling of opportunity. So don't be stingy in self-care, in taking care of yourself. Um, because this is the time energetically that spring blossoms. There's expansion, there's wonder. So you'll find uh, as you have cleared out the old, passion, creativity, drive that you hadn't seen for a long time, this fire, and it's not the fire now of purging. This is the fire of creation. So this is a time the consciousness supports you to be creative, take risks, launch things that you've put in the back burner because you didn't think it would ever be the right time. Take responsibility for your creations. It's really important to step out of blame. Like, I've never done it. I'm not like those other people. It's really amazing as you get on this, this new trajectory that has its own power. Watch for signs in the universe that you are okay, that you are supported. Um, that there's abundance around you. So, oh my gosh, they're right outside my door. I'm so sorry. Um, so 30 years ago, I've got this great story and it involves this, this white rose. So 30 years ago, I did a meditation where I was at a golden gate. Wasn't allowed to go through it but I had a white rose in my hand. So I was kneeling in front of the golden gate and I put my arm with the white rose through the golden gate. And I think that golden gate is where we are now. 
on the other side of the golden gate, this white rose went into a zillion white roses. So I often buy myself white roses because they mean abundance. Well, this particular little lady, she is a month old. I bought grocery store roses when I got here to Sedona a month ago. All her sisters died. I bought other white roses. All her, they, all of them died. This one is still growing. And I've never seen anything like it. A, a cheap cut rose. Sorry, darling. Um, but what it's telling me, and now I'm telling you, is that trust abundance. Watch for signs that you're okay. Yeah, there may be bank failures. There may be stuff going on in the external world. You are okay, okay? Because we keep projecting our, our fears into the future. And who wants that in our future? Um, watch for signs of what you should be doing. Uh, again, the other day I was in the hot tub here and I closed my eyes and saw a vision of Aphrodite rising out of the hot tub. Go, oh, I guess that means I should do my Cyprus tour that I had canceled before the uh, pandemic uh, because I was going to do a Cy Cyprus tour about a rising of Aphrodite. So it all worked out. There's hotels. I'm going to be doing a, a soul retreat in Cyprus in September. I think it's the 6th through the 13th or something like that. Uh, I have the dates, the 6th through the 13th. It's not on my website, but it came out of watching for signs and expecting the miraculous. So I guess overall this month, in the beginning, do the hard cleaning, making room for everything, and then open up to the blossoming, the summer, the spring, the fertility. This is Beltane, fertility rituals. And stop dreaming and start taking action. Stop using excuses and move yourself forward. I'm seeing major breakthroughs in my clients, in their lives, where all of a sudden they see a vision and it explains everything, and then they can let it go. So uh, it's an incredible time. Then the end of the month, this new moon on May 19th, May 20th, I'm going to be in Bali and we're going to be doing some very important work at the major temple there where the two main ley lines of the earth, the rainbow serpent line, the feminine line, and the Quetzalcoatl or the plumed serpent masculine line, they cross in this temple. And my guide, Mark, has said that what's going to happen is the two ley lines, polarity, are going to begin to merge together. So I invite all of you to meditate on that energy of the new moon, May 19th and 20th. We will be in Bali. We would appreciate all of your meditation. I can't tell you exactly what time in Bali we'll be at the temple meditating, but what this is doing is bringing in the possibility of the 12th dimension. Many of you have been following my Mark classes for years or, or months, and we have just finished the 11th dimension. The 12th dimension is actually the last dimension in the cycle. Uh, there's 12 signs of the zodiac, 12 months of the year, 12 hours of the day. After 12, everything resets. And so we are putting into place the final cycle here on earth before everything breaks open in a good way. <laughs> Don't be worried. So I invite you, even if you've never done the mark work, that I channel every Monday. We're going to start a new course on Monday, June 26th, after I'm back from Bali, get settled, and it's Monday on Zoom. And we it will be the opening of the 12th dimension, the new, the last gate. So we've been preparing the steps for you. 
You don't have to have ever done Mark before. You don't have to be a good meditator. I invite all of you to consider being part of this new course, the 12th dimension with Mark. I'm, I'm writing it up now because I've needed to wait for the energies of May to really feel what this is going to be about. So it will be on my website and it's an eight week course. It's on Mondays, Zoom and recorded. And then we follow up. It's not just one course. This has been going on for 32 years. I've been channeling Mark weekly, but I really see that it's the, the beginning of the end of the cycles and we will move into this heavenly area, this world that we were born to help push over the edge. So um, we probably won't see the huge changes in our lifetime, but we came at a time of transformation because we are the creators of it. No victims any longer. So dear ones, happy May Day. Enjoy the fire of the ceremony. Enjoy the fertility, the blossoming, the color, your power, your dreams, your abundance. This is a powerful, beautiful, amazing month. Thank you. Thank you.